One of my favorite things to do is look on high-end websites like Pottery Barn and see what decor items they have and recreate them with Dollar Tree items. So when I saw these coffee table trays, I knew I could definitely recreate these with Dollar Tree items. So from Dollar Tree, I picked up a large plastic tray. I also got another plastic plate and then some other plates they had in the party section. I only wanted three trays, but I actually ended up making four because I wasn't sure exactly what heights I wanted to use. Now for the base of these plates, I was going to use these wooden dowels. Now these originally were probably from Walmart, but I've had them for so long in my craft room, I just used the ones I already had. For each of my trays, I'm going to use three legs as a base. So I used my miter saw to cut down three so they were the exact same height. Now, as you can see from the Pottery Barn picture, this tray had varying heights, so I kind of just staggered the heights. I knew I wanted the larger tray to be the smallest, and then I staggered the other heights as well. Once I got all of my wood pieces cut, I'm going to use a combination of E6000 and hot glue to attach them to the bottom of my trays, and I put the legs on in a triangle formation on the underside of my tray. I let that dry completely and then I came in with my spray paint. It was kind of this bluish green color. I love the way this color looks and I got this spray paint at Home Depot. So I'm gonna spray the underside of my tray. I actually did one coat on the bottom. Once that dried, I flipped it over and I did two coats on the top. Now I still was spray painting four trays because I figured I would just make all four and then figure out which ones I wanted to use. I wanted to give the edges a little bit of definition, so I used a black rub and buff color and just took a foam brush and put that all around the edges. That was really easy to do, but I think it gave it a little bit of definition. I picked the three that I wanted to use and I laid them out in the center of my coffee table and styled them with decor I already had on hand. When I saw this pretty little dish on Pottery Barn's website, I knew that I had seen something similar in shape at Dollar Tree. They actually have these incense containers. So I picked up one of those and then I'm just going to use some wood filler to fill in where the incense stick would go. Let that dry completely. If you need to add an additional coat, you can do that. And then I wanted it to have a really mirrored finish, so I found this mirrored spray paint at Home Depot, and I'm gonna spray a layer on the underside, let that dry completely, and then I did two coats on the front side. That was all I needed to do to this little trinket tray. This is perfect to put by your sink. You could put your rings or your jewelry on it. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.